Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out our first two fighters. Introducing first, Mike Beachy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Shamrock Fighting Championships 303. Jeremy Johnson tonight, along with my partner, Ryan Sutton. We are live at River City Casino in St. Louis, Missouri for all of the action here in front of this sold out crowd. Making his way into the cage, it is Tim Beeching. He comes to us by way of Robbins MMA, and he is making his mixed martial arts debut tonight. But now he is no stranger into the world of combat sports as he is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt who has done a ton of competitions. Now to step into the world as a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, making your MMA debut, he's gonna wanna get this fight to the ground, but he said also, I'm okay to stand up and see how it works out. He wants to test it, but he says my ground game is always there. And his opponent, Tim Eschenfelder. Coming to the cage by way of Belleville, Illinois, and training out of the war room, it is Tim Eschenfelder, who sports a two and one record in the world of mixed martial arts. He does have a lot of high school wrestling coming into this. He found MMA after high school and looked to it as a continuation as we get ready here for our supplement superstores tale of the tape. Tim Eschenfelder, 20 years old, 5 foot 10, 153.6 pounds. Mike Beeching, 30 years old, 6 foot tall, 153.2 pounds. A very evenly matched other than the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt of Beeching. Yeah, it's it's a go, going to be a really interesting dynamic first off the bat because you do have a high, high level Jiu-Jitsu black belt, but then you've got the wrestling. Will that nullify the Jiu-Jitsu? We'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's first match is set for three rounds in the Shamrock Fighting Championships lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the Metro BCS blue corner, a mixed martial artist that stands six feet tall and weighs in at 153.2 pounds. Fighting out of Springfield, Illinois, Mike Beeching. Across the cage, his opponent, fighting out of the Metro PCS red corner. This fighter stands five feet, 10 inches tall, and weighs in at 153.6 pounds. Fighting out of Belleville, Illinois, Tim Eschenfelder. Jeremy, this first fight of the night has fireworks potentially written all over it. Also, we want to welcome our Facebook Live people watching right now. If you want to continue to watch the pay-per-view after this fight, go to www.shamrockfc.com. Click on the Watch Live tab. A lot of action here coming quickly. A lot of herky-jerky movement out of Eschenfelder. Yeah, Eschenfelder has a little bit of that awkward kind of Keith Jardine in the outside, but he throws hard. And right off the bat, I'm impressed. Beaching for being a jiu-jitsu black belt looks very comfortable on his feet. He also told me he has quite a bit of boxing. Oh, but he just, landed a big hand. It just showed because he rocked him with a short shot, it looked like. Nice takedown there by Eschenfelder, but look at the movement out of Beeching. That's where Eschenfelder's going to go, is back to the well with high school wrestling, especially when he was hurt there. But Very good, though, out of that Beach. scramble is Eschenfelder in the red tape, Mike Beeching in the blue. Yeah, he almost gave up some bad positions there, almost gave up his back, but was able to scramble get back up, and now this is where he wants to be most likely, is cage wrestling. Nice move there by Eschenfelder to get this fight to the ground, taking the back. Wow. Takes Look at this, but again, the reversal coming out of Beeching, ending up on top, quickly passing here into half guard of Eschenfelder. You know, Jeremy, he took the back so cleanly, but rushed it a little bit. Rushed a little bit, got a little bit too high. Some hard shots coming from Beeching there. Eschenfelder trying to work his hips, getting back into full guard. And so far, I called it. This one, fireworks, man. Big hand there coming out of Beeching. Again, cranks him up. Beeching throws hard. He really throws hard. 
Ashton Felder looked like he wanted to wind up, throw that bad boy from the streets. Ashton Felder trying to hold himself in here, going for a big kick, but waits. Oh, arm oh. triangle potential, but no, spins out of it is Eschen Felder. We almost saw a standing arm triangle. That would have been lovely. Good hand movement here by Beeching. He said he had a bit of boxing as a youngster also. That is definitely showing in this world here. Nice knee to the body though. They're coming from Eschenfelder in the red tape. Again, Mike Beeching in the blue. Jeremy Johnson along with my partner tonight, Ryan Sutton, live from the sold out River City Casino in St. Louis, Missouri. Beeching just stepped into a really nice hook there. Oh! Eschenfelder has him hurt. He is all over him right now. All over it is Eschenfelder looking to finish. The fighting the hands here is Beeching. Will he survive? 10 can, seconds remaining. Can he survive this back to his feet? What a oh, fight here for man. our Facebook Live fans. First round in the books again. If you would like to join the stream and see this live on pay-per-view, then I need you guys to go to www.shamrockfc.com and click on the Watch Live tab to join us for the rest of the fights tonight. Wow, that, that end of that round makes it so interesting now because you had, you had Eschenfelder, who I believe was hurt there a little bit in the uh, beginning of that round, was most likely losing that round, and then he just drops him and swarms him. I mean, Jeremy, you know that the judges always remember what they see last. How do you score that round? Well, me personally, I'm gonna have to say I'm gonna score that one for Eschenfelder on that particular shot at the end. Now, how do you see it as we go to our Mattingly Lumber instant replay? Again, playing devil's advocate, I think that Beeching had predominantly more success in that round, but judges always remember what they see last. And that last flurry, I mean, to drop him and swarm him, to have a guy barely survive, I'm thinking it, they probably gave it to Ashton Felder. So here we go, round two. Again, remember, join us on the pay-per-view stream at www.shamrockfc.com slash watch live after this one ends on Facebook. Ashton Felder quickly takes the center of the cage here, looks for an uppercut left. Oh, winds up that lead upper, that lead uppercut and just threw it hard. She barely missing. Lands a nice leg kick there though that's keeping Beeching kind of on his horse going backwards. Yeah, and let's see if Beeching was able to clear the cobwebs. Eschenfelder just literally chucked him away. He's a powerful guy. Beeching has got to start to try to check some of those kicks or they are going to give him a lot of problems here later in the rounds. Another big left hand coming out of Eschenfelder. You know, I think Beeching might still be a little foggy, Jeremy. Uh, and Eschenfelder is taking full advantage of it because he came out hard this round. <clears throat> Beeching's thrown back though. Beeching has given him everything again. As I said, being a, a boxer as a youngster, he's got very decent hands and very decent strikes, but we're seeing some great head movement here out of Eschenfelder, ability to get out of the way. Yeah, Eschenfelder's doing a really good job with that head movement, coming up back up over the top with things too. He's moving his head kind of a la Tyson, but then finishing with a hook in the exchanges. Beeching now trying to fight the hands here of Eschenfelder. Yeah, in that 50-50 clinch position. You don't really want your hips that far back though, because then everything that you eat, or you, you eat is you're just gonna feel it. Yeah, this is a tough position here for Beeching. The experience of Eschenfelder is starting to show through here in the second round. Yeah, we've seen Eschenfelder fight a lot here at Shamrock Fighting Championships. Tough, very physically strong kid. Hands up. Big hands again out of Eschenfelder, trying to hold onto that head, just throwing paymakers. Man, just like rock 'em, sock 'em robots. Big takedown there, though, coming out of Beeching. Under one minute remaining here in the second round. Again, thank you to all of our Facebook fans for joining along tonight. Be sure to go and check out the rest of the pay-per-view at www.shamrockfc.com slash watch-live. Yeah, Beeching was firing back in those exchanges too. 
But that, that double leg was very well timed and I think very, very needed. He could have, in theory, stole the round again with that takedown here. Yes, always remember what you see last. He plants him with a double leg, and now he's been on top for almost a minute now. He really, really needed to pull the trigger on that because he was losing some of those exchanges, I feel like. With nice just pass into, into his side control here. But Eschenfelder, again, moves to top position at the end. Man, back and forth, back and forth. Ryan, what a round here for round two. How do you see that one coming? You know, just to just play the middleman, I'm going to give him a round apiece. My, and that's based on solely the criteria that I want this third round to be really fun and important. Absolutely. <laughs> Ring girl Katie working there in the cage. Now going to the Mattingly Lumber instant replay here. Nice heavy hands coming out of beaching originally, but here comes Eschenfelder right back at him. Just an absolute game of rock'em, sock'em robots here. Yeah, oh, man. It was almost like a jab hook that just snapped the head of Beeching right back. And he's wearing it a little on his face, too, you can see. Yeah, he is definitely wearing that on the cheeks as cut man Nick Reeder goes in there and takes some work for him. Let's see, let's see what their recovery time looks like. That one minute can be very short, wasn't it, Ryan? Oh, that one minute feels like a breath sometimes. Touch of the gloves here for the third and final round. Again, if you want to see more of the action, go to our website at www.shamrockfc.com. Click on the live tab and watch the pay-per-view. Nice stuff there out of Eschenfelder. Yeah, he didn't really set that double leg up like he did before. Probably thought it was just gonna be there, but he ran into a brick wall there, stuffed and then just toppled over. See what the ground and pound now looks like from Eschenfelder. And let's see, let's see if Beeching can get a little, little going off his back now or if he's just gonna try to be content to defend. Beeching, as you said, starting to definitely wear this fight on his face. The hammer fist coming out of Eschenfelder. We are down to just two minutes remaining here in the third and final round. Again, if you are liking the action, please come join us at shamrockfc.com. Click on the Watch Live tab for the pay-per-view from the sold-out River City Casino. Oh, that. We have 15 fights today. Look at here it comes, Mike Beeching trying to lock up that triangle. Almost working to an arm bar here now. Fantastic reaction by Eschenfelder to defend that, but fantastic hips from Beeching to throw that up. You can tell, even third round tired, that he has got very, very high level hips. But Eschenfelder defended beautifully. And we are only halfway through this third round. Stand him up, Tim, stand up. Stand up, Tim. Watch it, watch his hips. Tim, stand up. This has been a very physical fight so far. I mean, hard leg kicks, just really, really stiff shots. Referee saying there's not enough action, though. He's going to bring him back up. Referee Dwayne Best in charge of the action, thinks that there is not enough going on in the ground here, bringing it back to their feet. Big Superman punch, but again, Ashenfelder just opens up. Oh, paying for that Superman punch in a big way. Look at that head under the chin, just. Really, Beautiful wrestling. Yeah, just nitty gritty, a hard style. I mean, it sucks to be tired. You just got punched four times and then have someone jam their head up underneath, grinding you when you're tired. Man, that's just a horrible feeling. Working here, coming from the top position is Eschenfelder here. Jeremy Johnson along with my partner Ryan Sutton live from the sold out River City Casino in St. Louis, Missouri. We see Bre uh, Beeching on the bottom are trying to work those hips a bit, but we're down to 15 seconds remaining in the third and final round. Yeah, he's only got a few seconds here to pull the trigger because he's been losing this round pretty one-sided, I feel. Again, looking for that arm bar. Oh man, good position, but just not enough time. Very nice hammer fist to block that. Stacking his hips up close, pushing in, saving himself that, and then again, landing those heavy hammer fists. What a fight. Yeah, Eschenfelder did a fantastic job of defending the jiu-jitsu from Mike Beeching. 
And I mean, I think that's what really won him that third round big and potentially won him the fight. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen, to start the night here at Shamrock FC 303. Again, as we see our cut man there, cut man Craig Nacello in taking care of Eschenfelder. What we are looking for, though, guys, is coming up. We have more fights tonight, so if you would like to view the rest of this pay-per-view, come join us at shamrockfc.com. Click on the Watch Live tab. Now, we move to our Mattingly Lumber instant replay. Heavy, heavy hands coming out of Tim Eschenfelder there. Yeah, he threw hard, and he threw frequent in that round. What a fight, let's send it up to the cage for Joe Parisi. Let's hear it one more time for these two fighters. Kicking off things at Shamrock FC 303. That's the way we like it. Folks, after three tough rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. We have a unanimous decision. Your winner, out of the red corner, Tim Eschenfelder! What a win for Tim Eschenfelder now. The wrestling and the striking of Eschenfelder is the story of this fight. Yes, it is. He, he threw so hard whenever he got the chance to unload those hooks. Uh, his wrestling, beautiful when he needed it. And then just physical. Uh, even Parisi uh, Paris, called it out. Those were tough rounds. It is, but we have more action coming up next. So join us on the pay-per-view at shamrockfc.com. Click on the watch live tabs, and we'll be right back right after this.